bagayan. Ha? Oh. To. Ah. Uh, ISD 1820. Ay, ano yan? Oh. Ito'y tinatawag na audio recorder. Voice recording module. Ay, ano gawa niyan? Ha? O, oh, nag-record siya ng boses. Pwede tayo mag-record dito. May kasama pang speaker. 8 ohms, 0.5 watt. O, oh, meron na siyang cable. Pin connector. Dito sa ating module, ang gamit na IC ay ISD 1820. Meron siyang microphone, JPET, mic. May mga LED, resistor, kapasitor, na SMD, electrolytic, kapasitor, push button switch, pin header uh, port hmm ay ano naman ang gagawin mo ngayon dyan ha o testingin natin kung makakapag record siya ng sound so yung ano speaker dito nilalagay sa SP1 Lagay natin. Okay. Siyempre, kailangan natin ng power. Magko-connect tayo ng power. Pwede siya sa 3 volts up to 5 volts. Itong gamitin natin. 3.7 volts 18650 battery breadboard jumper wires kabit natin ang supply BCC Yun. Sa positive ground sa ground na tanggal Oh. Magre-record na tayo. Meron ditong record pula. Button. Pag pinindot ko 'yan, Hello, mic test. Hello. Playback. Play. Play E. Hello. Sapa. Play E. Hello, mic test. Hello. Oh. Nakalat siya. O yung ano, may isang pindot lang. Mahina lang ang kanyang sound, pero pwede na rin. Sa pa, play E. Pag play L. Okay. 
Kailangan i-hold mo yung button. Kung hindi, mapuputol yung playback. Oh. Oh, yun lang ang pag-record. Play E. Pag play L, kaila i-hold mo yung button. Ngayon, pag nag-record ulit tayo, mapapatungal na yung una nating record. Ha? O. Oh. Hello! Test! Playback. Play E. Ayun. Sa pa. Kailangan umilaw yun, no? Oh. Yun. Hello? Play E. Play E. Diba? This is now the schematic diagram of uh, IST 1820 voice recorder module in this figure one. What we did with the with our uh, circuit is our module. Uh, we connected the supply of 3.7 volts. To the BCC and then to the ground. 3.7 volts is the voltage battery of uh, 18650. But uh, overall, we're we can uh, use uh, 3 volts up to 5 volts. Okay. And. Into our module, we have this uh, IC inside the module. The output is uh, a speaker with uh, 8 ohms, 0.5 watts. And is connected into the output uh, port. Okay. While the ordinary wirings of the speaker, it has positive and negative polarity but in our uh, module we are just using a JST connector so here this is the JST connector cable and it is to be connected to this port SP1 Okay, this is the IC. And then the power, BCC, to the ground. And uh, inside the module, we have this LED. And three switches. When we're going to record the sound, or any voice or sound, we just press the record button. And then LED turns on while recording. The duration of uh, or the length of recording is around uh, up to 20 seconds. So 20 seconds is the length of recording which is the capacity of the module on uh, the amount of time we can able to record up to 20 seconds. When we press it while recording LED turns on and uh, when we release it uh, 
we will uh, stop the recording process so it is a uh, can be seen here with the uh, red uh, button and then for the playback playback e we playback e it is a, a one time uh, push button when we press it one time and then release it just one time it will play back the recorded audio but for the play uh, l we need to continuously or uh, uh, we need to to hold the button we need to hold the button for the playback if we did not hold the button it will stop from playback so we need to hold the button when we're going to use this uh, button for playback hello mike test test hello Hello, 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 my test, test, hello. Okay, this is now the reverse engineering of our one ISD1820 voice recorder. I just uh, trace the connection of each uh, components and we have this uh, uh, reverse engineering sketch for the mic. Some the IC capacitor the same placement and here we connected here the speaker SP plus SP minus and some uh, components the switches and then the pin header so what we did with our last uh, demo is We recorded another uh, another audio. Oh, and we made a, a jumper settings between this uh, terminal. A jumper settings for this uh, two terminal J2. The jumper is connected here so that when we play the recorded audio, it will repeat again and again. And these are the components uh, uh, values. So what we did is we just uh, just slide the jumper settings to get the continuous uh, playback. I repeat, continuous playback. 
with our recorded uh, audio or sound. And this is the reverse engineering. So in this uh, in this sketch, we can also make uh, another uh, test for the for this uh, FT or feed through. Hello, 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 mic, test, test, hello, mic, hello, hello. Hello, 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 mic, test, hello, 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 hello. Okay, we use the FT feed through. That is by connecting the FT to the plus to the supply, and then uh, the other end is connected to FT. FT then to the plus. So what happened is, let us see the other. Uh, Here, the schematic diagram of our uh, voice recorder. So here, we are using this uh, FT. FT now, which is located in this pin header, is to be connected to the BDD. So this uh, IC is made up of a CMOS this is a CMOS type IC because our supply is plus BDD referring to the source or the power of the IC and uh, pin 11 also we have BCC it's a complete combination of uh, the TTL and the uh, CMOS technology and then as I've said instead of using a switch we are using a jumper so we we connected a jumper between the BDD supply which is the 3.7 volts from the battery to the FT we connected the jumper and what is now the configuration or uh, what is the function of the module because of that it serve as a uh, an amplifier or pre-amplifier or mini amplifier that's why when we connected the jumper or I mean the, when we connect the FT to the BDD we heard uh, a feedback from the speaker because the speaker is now because we are speaking through the speaker we directly talk to the speaker or once we connect 
this uh, J1 it serve as a amplifier or uh, and what is uh, why is it there is a feedback we heard the feedback because of the speaker is the signal of the speaker is uh, traveling through the air and then being picked up by the mic so there is a feedback going on or oh, we heard the feedback but uh, as long as we speak when we speak we can hear our voice directly to the speaker that is the function of FT we can able to hear our uh, voice directly to the speaker so the whole uh, circuit serves as a mini amplifier and uh, for the pin 1 of this IC that is the record pin connected is the C6 oh this is a crystal clock there is a crystal clock connected to the ground what is the purpose of the capacitor here to stabilize the connection of the record uh, switch connected to the BDD pin number 2 is the play E play edge triggered okay this is the one this one of the playback we use pin number 2 and then this loop J2 we already tested this uh, loop uh, and the sound is repeat repeating again and again once we connect a jumper to the to our first uh, test here okay and then it is connected to the switch and then to the BDD P number 3 is play play level play L level triggered and triggered level triggered and triggered to the positive edge triggering oh, this one is uh, the level the level of the signal connected is the pin number 3 to the switch play L and then to the BDD pin number 4 is the mic since this is a JPET mic type of mic we have this capacitor what is the purpose of this capacitor as a coupling since we know that the when we speak our the signal is analog there is a a positive and negative voltage and it is or a alternating uh, voltage or AC entering into the mic to the IC from mic to the capacitor then to the mic pin IC so we need a coupling capacitor there also for the mic reference pin number 5 C2 this is a ceramic type capacitor connected to the mic and to this uh, pin connected is a resistor okay what's this uh, resistor and connected is the coupling capacitor electrolytic type EGC automatic gain control to control the gain of the microphone why why is it there's a need for this uh, resistor and then capacitor it serve as a line filter to eliminate noise so to eliminate uh, noise created by the microphone pin number six automatic gain control and then also connected is the R2 with a, a capacitor a bootstrapping circuit for additional uh, stabilization of the input this is now the input remember this is an input R1 connected to BDD and then we have this pin number seven connected is the SP negative pin number nine SP plus connected to the positive side of the speaker 8 ohms 0.51 and 0.5 watts pin number seven SP negative SP plus pin number nine and then also we have this uh, BSS what 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 do what does this uh, BSS means 
Oh, what is the meaning of the, this BSS? Referring to the ground supply of the CMOS type technology IC, BSS. And it is a uh, pin number 8 to the ground with a coupling capacitor of C1. C1 coupling capacitor for power uh, stability of the circuit power stability we need a coupling capacitor to minimize line uh, noise line level uh, or it will serve as a filter capacitor same as here this one a filter capacitor to the mic and then filter capacitor for the power line of the IC and then pin BCC that is the positive input pin number 11 connected to BDD okay the supply from the battery also we have this ROSE what is this ROSE oscillator resistor oscillator connected this is a pin number 10 with R4 certain value of resistor the value of the resistor here is 100k I mean, uh, 200, 200K, 200K, what is the use of the resistor? In order that when we are going to record, we will make the recording, recording, uh, a duration of the recording is around 20 seconds. If we are going to use the 200K resistor for this uh, ROSE. If we're going to use a, a different value of resistor here, it will shorten the recording time. If we're going to use 200K, we were uh, having a, a, a length of uh, recording on, of up to 20 seconds. So 20 seconds, the duration of the recording because we are using 200K resistor for this. This is uh, critical. Pin number 12 is the pin through. When we are going to use this, this is a bypass. It means we're not using the record uh, record section or record uh, recording part of the circuit. We just uh, use this uh, module as a, a mini amplifier because when we speak, Our voice, we, we can hear our voice directly to the speaker. So this serves as a mini amplifier. By connecting the jumper or uh, I mean by connecting the FT to the BDD. Then pin number 13 is a record LED. So whenever we press the button, record button, LED turns on this record LED with a current limiting resistor. It will turn on and then going to the IC. And then pin number two, play E for the playback. Uh, some sort of uh, a one shot, single uh, shot, multi vibrator or a mono stable. So it is configured as a, a mono stable type because there is a certain length. Uh, duration of uh, feedback or uh, playback once we press the switch it will uh, play the recorded audio play L is the we keep on we kept on uh, holding the button to to make a playback for this play L and then recording switch to the BDD so this is the uh A schematic diagram of our ISD 1820 and it is used for voice recording or any sound re recording for any sound recording